boat friends, I know a lot of you love the weather and these huge ships in Duluth. Well, you're going to have them both on this video. March 26, around 8 o'clock in the morning here in Duluth, Minnesota. We have the aerial lift bridge that's going to be going up to 135 feet. Let me first get you caught up with the sneak peek of the vessel, the weather, and also marine traffic. And here's the weather here in Duluth, Minnesota, 27 degrees. Gusts up to 29 miles per hour off the lake. You can see the snow visibility out on the lake, about one mile for the captain. And here's marine traffic. We have the Edwin H. Gott on its way, just about to go under the Blotnick Bridge. It's going to go around Rice's Point through the Harbor Basin. It's going to go by us right here at the Duluth Area Lift Bridge out onto Lake Superior. It was loading over here at CN Dock. Now, it's AIS said it's going to two harbors. I'm not too sure if that is indeed the location where it will be heading, but uh, they might change that as they get on to the lake. Based on how mild the winter has been in Duluth, I really didn't think that I'd be able to draw another ship name in the snow as the new season started. If you look in the middle of the screen, you can see the bow of the got moving from left to right. Pretty decent amount of snow coming down. Can't really see over there across the harbor. Give you a shot of the wind on these flags. Moving pretty good. Now as this thousand footer approaches, all the snow is on the ground. We do have one friend that we haven't seen in a while, the boat friend snowman. He made his way out one last time, I believe, until we see him possibly next November in Duluth. You can see that yellow light that's illuminating. That lets the captain know that there is a neutral current right here in the ship canal as the vessel goes outbound. And as you can imagine, Green Gate definitely closed on a day like today. Let me give you a better shot of these waves as the wind and the snow whips right into our face here. Give you a shot of the shoreline here. Check out that wave that's coming in. Lake Superior definitely has some power. You can see these interesting chunks of snow that's lining the pier. It's kind of a combination of dense and slushy snow at the same time. I came up top here to give you another perspective. You can see the wind with that flag. See that snow. Wanted to show you the Park Point side over there. Check out those waves. You have a few seagulls flying around. They might be enjoying this weather right now with the wind. And there you go. Our friend there, your lift bridge is all the way up to its max height of 135 feet. I thought this was pretty funny. You can see my footsteps just pacing all around waiting for the ship. I'll do a quick 360 so you can check out the people and the full conditions here before the vessel comes through. And now you can see that big beast of a ship is really making that turn. You can almost see that superstructure. Zoom in a little bit. Still caught in that snow. Smart move by the captain, though. Take it easy. There's no point to rush at all. Has a full load as well of ore. Here's some quick facts before the got goes by us here under the bridge. 1,004 feet in length, built in 1979 at the Base Shipbuilding Company in Wisconsin. 74,000 ton capacity. We know that it's fully loaded with iron ore. Five holds, 20 hatches, two diesel engines, pushing out approximately 19,000 horsepower. And many people say this is indeed the fastest ship that's a 1,000 footer on the Great Lakes. <laughs> faintly hear that got below the horn came in at 91.2 obviously because it's a further distance away on the decibel meter as much as I enjoy the ships as you know over the time that we've been together on this channel I always love showing the people on the pier gives you something else to look at as well
take a look at the draft. Sitting around 29 feet, it looks like. Got some kick up from the waves. Awesome looking bow anchors there that we saw come into sight. Excellent color scheme with the maroon, the black, the gray, the white. As the snow flies by us, really making this ship look very picturesque with the scenery. Very fun. You can see the boom on the deck. There's that superstructure. You also see the radar spinning there on top of the superstructure. Again, I really didn't think that I would be able to see a ship in the snow as the new shipping season started. Extremely warm conditions in Duluth and a lot of other places, but I'll tell you, it's really fun watching a ship in this type of weather. You can see there's some lights that they have along the deck. It's always so fun watching a thousand footer head out to Lake Superior. Check out the volatility here from the prop wash as the stern goes by us. Looks like a Lake Superior washing machine right here. You can see the American flag flying proudly. And now there's a good look at this huge beast as it goes out onto Lake Superior. Again, not too sure of the destination, but fully loaded with iron ore pellets. You zoom in a little more so you can see the stacks. You can see the bridge wing. That's that portion right there that hangs over on both sides. It just allows the captain and the crew members a better observation spot so they can look to the sides a little better. But there it goes. Not the best conditions, but the captain is a pro, no doubt about it. And we wish all of them a safe voyage on to Lake Superior. Now, boat friends, if you enjoyed this ship, this weather, this video, please hit the like button on the way out. It doesn't cost you anything, but people that love the ships will find this channel and also subscribe. I'm out here doing live streams and once I go live, if you are subscribed, it'll alert you that I am live. And also if you wanna be a channel member, there's a new membership, go check that out. But as always, boat friends, thank you so much for joining me during these interesting conditions here in Duluth and watching that thousand footer. I'll be out here with the next vessel if you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.